Hi, I'm Manju. Welcome to Sharing Cooking Secrets. Today I'm going to show you how you can use silicon molds to make chocolate decorations and garnishes. So I have all these um, uh, silicon molds, like uh, nowadays you get literally thousands of them and you'll get all different themes, you'll get heart themes, you'll get baby themes, you'll get fashion themes children's ideas like teddy bears and you get roses, bows, I mean it's endless, butterflies, this is a really nice one, it's Eiffel Tower. So I'm just going to show you um, how you can do some easy decorations, say you know you're busy, you don't have time to make fancy decorations and you don't know how to use fondant, um, this is a great way to make um, some easy cake decorations on your cake. Here I have a tray and I've just put some butter paper on it and I've just stuck it down with some sellotape and I have my melted chocolate here. I have some white milk chocolate, um, some dark chocolate and I have one which is um, white chocolate but I've just colored it pink so you can make any color you like. So just a few drops of uh, color in the pink chop in the white chocolate that's all and I've shown you how to do that before so the first one I want to do is maybe uh, this one they're just flowers so we can maybe just use the dark chocolate that's the easiest one to use and um, it is very easy to do it with the icing bag so we just want to make a small little cut and we're just going to pipe the chocolate into the mold. Don't overfill it. Just stop just a little bit before. Otherwise, it's going to become. Now, a lot of people are saying their chocolate gets very hard in the icing bag. So the best thing to do is when you're not using the icing bag, push the tip inside like this. You know, so that, that in this way, the tip doesn't become hard because that's the place, you know, this is the thinnest part of the icing bag. So the chocolate tends to harden here. So um, just push that in there like this, okay? And always place it in a container or a bowl or a, or a glass. Don't put it on your countertop because uh, this is cold, the chocolate will harden, okay? So now once you put the chocolate, you need to tap it, so the best way to do is this, okay, and we'll just leave this aside and then I'll put them all together in the, uh, this is a really nice couple mold and um, I'm just going to fill this in as well. They have hundreds of things to do, working women also. And just tap it. And this will help you also if you need to put some more chocolate, it will tell you where you need to put more chocolate. If by mistake, if you have overfilled it, so you just get your palette knife and just do this and scrape off the extra chocolate, okay? See, sometimes the chocolate hardens in the bag like this so it's a very easy tip. You can just take your hair dryer and just do this. Give it some heat and it'll melt in a minute or two. You can also, if the chocolate is hardened, um, you can put it in the microwave, but just for two seconds, not more than that. Otherwise you may burn the chocolate. Two seconds. Stop, 
check it if it still hasn't melted put it again just for another two seconds and that's it never more than two seconds please so the chocolate's melted nicely so I'm just going to make a little cut and I have I have a teddy bear mold here it's really quick cute you can use these to decorate your cupcakes and if you have a children's birthday party and it's a really easy garnish to put on your cake sometimes you know the hole gets blocked so just maybe if there's a, a little bit of a a lump in the chocolate just squeeze it out that happens a lot and just continue this is a bow mold and we're just going to fill this in you need to tap every time otherwise it's going to harden so once it hardens it won't spread Sometimes when you buy new molds, this is this is a tip. The chocolates don't come out very nicely. So, what you do is just get some normal oil and just give a very thin coating in the mold. This will make it easy. Now what I'm going to try I've got some edible glitter here and this is a pink color and I'm just going to put it inside the mold just randomly just spread it all over this is just an option if you want you can do this Sometimes even if you do it carefully, it will overflow, doesn't matter, it's okay. And just scrape it very gently. So this is a leaf mold, very useful. So I did make some before and I just added a few drops of uh, green color uh, to get green leaves. So today I'm just going to make some white ones and I'm going to use my glitter and just going to spread this in the mold you need to put a little bit of a thick layer keep them ready This one I'm going to use the dark chocolate and um, when I take this out you'll see how pretty this is. But sometimes you know the big, these bigger molds, they're a little bit difficult to remove and sometimes they do break but then you can always join it up later on. Now we're going to put all these in the freezer for about 10 minutes. So these have been in the freezer for around 10 minutes and now we're going to demold them. Now let me just tell you that sometimes they do break so you have to be very careful and you have to do this very patiently. Now the way to remove the chocolates from here is like you have to kind of stretch the mold like this so the chocolates get released, the, the decorations get released and you have to do this very patiently. And if they do break, it doesn't matter. You can just redo it. Now what I'm doing, 
I'm, I'm just pushing it from the, from the back, from here. I'm pushing it and trying to release it. Very carefully. Some molds are easier than others and uh, some molds they break and you have to be extra careful. So out of this lot only one broke so that's not bad. Then we have the teddy bear mold. The teddy bear one is a little difficult so please be careful. Push from the back, push. These are the ones that I put the glitter, it's looking really nice. Very Christmassy as well. Isn't that beautiful? I've had broken this one. So again, you just get some white chocolate and you can refix it. So, do you remember the couple mold? So say if it's somebody's golden anniversary, we can just get some golden dust and you can just put some dust on it. Even if it's not a golden anniversary, just applying the dust highlights the design. And a very easy way of sticking this on your cake, all you do is just get some toothpicks and get your melted chocolate and apply the chocolate on the toothpick on the mold at the back. And just leave it to set for a few minutes and then we can just stick this in the cake and I'll show you how to do it. So I'd just like to share some very simple ideas that how you can finish a cake using all these decorations. See the flowers, the roses, I've put them size wise just on the border and it's say if it's an anniversary cake so you can just stick this down check it see how pretty that looks and and it's so just so easy and um, we have our happy anniversary what do you think do you think this one will look nice or is it too big let me have a look it's a simple anniversary cake which you can just do in say literally 20 minutes it won't take longer than that so it's, if it's a cake for a baby you can just stick that and if it's a birthday you can just stick this maybe see how it's looking yep it's lovely just ignore this because I'm just showing you the options what you can do a simple cake you want for maybe a small child's birthday you can just stick these teddy bears obviously it's up to you if you want to um, put the roses or not maybe dark roses would look better than the pink so these are really very very simple things you can do the bows you know you can stick them here obviously we don't want to put so many but say if you didn't have the roses you could just stick these see how nice that looks and just go by the 12 6 three, nine idea so it looks all uniform so you can even do this 